What's up guys, in today's video I will be talking about how to approach the neutral game in Dragon Ball Fighters. It's probably one of the most important, but also one of the hardest aspects to understand about the game, and any fighting game in general, so I will try my best to help you with it. The easiest way to understand what neutral means is by checking what state each player is in. I like to differentiate between three states, being on offense, being on defense, and when you are doing neither, you are in neutral. So neutral just refers to any situation when neither player is actively pressuring the other one. Pretty simple, right? While the state of being in neutral is indeed simple, making the correct decision on what to do while in neutral is where things start getting complicated. Depending on your playstyle, your characters, and the current situation of the match, your main goals in neutral can easily be put into one of two categories. Initiate offense in order to start your mix-ups, or keep your opponent from initiating offense, either by avoiding or punishing their attempts at doing so. So how do you go about achieving these goals in Dragon Ball Fighters? While I could make a fancy 30 minute guide covering all your potential options in each of the two categories, I much prefer to just straight up tell you the strategy which is the most useful and quite simply the strongest when it comes to high level play. For that, we will be talking a lot about assists and assist cooldowns. You have probably heard the term neutral assist thrown around by commentators if you watch any Dragon Ball Fighters tournaments, and for good reason. Your main tools for initiating offense will either be covering a move your point character has with an assist, or just flat out calling your assist without actually committing to anything on your point character. Both of these options are relatively safe and will reward you with damage on hit and continued pressure if blocked. And depending on the assist you use, worst case scenario is you're going to be safe on whiff. That said, whiffing a move and using up an assist puts you in a kind of bad spot against a skilled opponent, especially if they didn't use up their assist yet, and I'll explain next why that is. Baiting assist is a huge part of how neutral is played in DBFZ. Having a neutral assist while your opponent has theirs on cooldown puts you in an extremely good position for initiating offense. Them not having a neutral assist ready means that they have to commit to a move on their point character in order to contest you, which will have a good chance of being beaten out since you still have your neutral assist. You have to play around this regardless of which end of the neutral game you are currently on, meaning assist baited and on cooldown or whether you are the one who has baited the assist. If you unsuccessfully use up your neutral assist, you shouldn't be trying to bulldog your way in, instead just reset to neutral and play it safe and slow while it comes back off cooldown. So quickly looking back at what is the main focus of the neutral game, it's either to initiate offense or to keep your opponent from initiating theirs. And the best and safest ways to achieve these is by playing around assist cooldowns, baiting them and going in while having an assist covering your back. One of the reasons you see so many level 1 sparking activations in high level matches is because assists are extremely useful and having both of your assists alive at any given point is just way too valuable to give up if you can do something about it. Playing the neutral game without a neutral assist is a lot riskier, but the same concept still applies. You will be mostly trying to avoid your opponent's moves and bait their assists so that you will have an easier way to get in and start your offense. It really is that simple when it comes to high level play. However, just because the concept of how to play neutral at a high level is simple doesn't mean that the actual execution of it is. There will always be situations in which you don't entirely approach as you would have wanted, or situations where you can't keep your opponent out as well as you would have planned. Not to mention that for each character matchup there are different ranges that you need to be wary of. But that's a far more complex topic than what I wanted to cover today. And each character could basically have a video dedicated to how to best play against them in neutral. I hope you found this little guide on the neutral game in Dragon Ball Fighters useful, so now go and see how it works for you in practice. See ya!